Last December, the U.S. Congress passed legislation stating for the first time in history that technologies of unknown origin and non-human intelligences exist and mandated every agency of the U.S. government, every contracting corporation, to turn over all the information they've gathered since 1945 about UFOs over to the National Archives of the Library of Congress. There is now incontrovertible proof that's being provided by the U.S. government that we are not alone. There have been thousands of people all over the world have been in contact with the extraterrestrials. And without exception, what they report the ETs say to them that the human race is about ready to destroy itself through thermonuclear war and climate change. And we can't let that happen. ET contact with humanity was triggered when on July 16, 1945, in Trinity, New Mexico, the United States ignited the first nuclear device. And within the next month, dropped nuclear bombs on Hiroshima on August 6th and Nagasaki on August 9th. Within 30 days, ETs were showing up right in New Mexico. You've probably heard of the very famous incident at Roswell. Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. A craft actually crashed and four alien bodies were retrieved. And since then, there have been multiple, multiple incidences, including extraterrestrial craft come down over nuclear weapons facilities, like at Malmstrom, Montana in 1967, and simultaneously shut down 20 Minutemen nuclear missiles. So if you think about where we are, Climate change is spinning out of control. The U.S. war machine is fomenting conflict in Europe, in the Middle East, against China. And at the same time, we're causing so much turbulence, at least in our quadrant of the galaxy, that advanced civilizations are beginning to show up to warn us, to wake up. This time is not only the most excruciatingly dangerous time, but it's also the time when we are being shown incontrovertibly that we are not alone. And so humanity is embarking on the greatest milestone in the history of our species. We're entering into our cosmic moment.